Hey, yo, what up, guys? It's Grim. We're back in Breath of Fire 2. Yes, last time on Breath of Fire 2, we learned the legendary Anthony spell for our hero Grim. Unfortunately, we cannot use it yet. No, no, we cannot use it. But trust me when I say you will need it. Trust me. But today on the Breath of Fire 2, we are going to venture into the final dungeon. And try to get everything there is to get, even though I don't think we're gonna make it far. Not at this rate, anyway. Uh, side note, we are still painfully underleveled for this final dungeon. And it is going to be pretty miraculous if we get everything I want to get done today. I have already managed to waste about half of Bao's MP just from this little excursion. Alright, nose robe. What, what do we do with this nose robe? No, Bao can't equip it. Nose robe. Ooh. That's pretty nice. Nice little upgrade for Miss Cat. And some clothes. Anybody want the bowels on? Actually, you know what? I'm I'm going to exit. I can't exit. Actually, ah, I don't have the exit spell. Ah. Well, that was some lack of foresight on my part. <laughs> we're boned. But we're gonna try our damnedest to do it. Why? Cause I'm not a quitter. Damn it. I will see this through. But we're gonna try to loot all the stuff in this dungeon today and possibly take on a boss. I would also like to get some levels along the way. That would be fantastic. And whoa! This place just got real. Look at the floor! Is there like blood in the floor? What is that? Oh, we have new enemies! New enemies, the skeleton! And the Magicamus. Magicamus. I think we better kill that guy first. He looks dangerous. Like he casts spells at a face. Um, bow. Tiger sword. We. I am desperately trying to keep Cat in her shamanized form so we don't have to exit the dungeon and come back. That would be very, very tragic. Indeed. Oh, man. So I'm keeping her, like, top health. 99% of the time. Don't cast anything bad, magic. It must just die. Thank you. But I really, I like the enemies down here. I don't want to say I like them a whole lot because they're really hard. But they have like brand new monster designs to these enemies. Like you won't see these monster designs anywhere else in this game, which is really cool. Uh, I like how they saved that for the last dungeon too. Hey, nice job, pal. That was pretty awesome of you. Cat, way to go. Anyway, yeah, I do like how they did that for the last part of this game, though. It's pretty cool. And they definitely didn't make this uh, dungeon easy, that's for sure. Riot Staff! Oh, I think that's an upgrade for Cat. Miss cat a cat catty Oh, very nice upgrade. Cat hits very hard in her shamanized form. Now she will hit even harder. But yes, the best loots in the game are to be found in this place. Namely, a set of armor called the Dragon Armor. Ooh, here's a new enemy, the Conch! I hate these guys. We haven't seen this, uh, monster design from earlier in the game either, have we? Anyway, they have ridiculous defense, so... Use stuff that doesn't have to use offense, except when you're cat, because you just need everything more. See how little damage we're doing? I'll advise using Chop Chop and Bao's Shot on them. That might be the best way to go. Actually, I don't know if Chop Chop is the best. Well, now it is, now that they cast power down. Dick! Thanks, buddy. Oh, it didn't work, though. Haha, <laughs> cool. Let's try, uh, non Chop Chopping and get a Taiga Soul to miss the bile. Miss the bile! Might even think about, uh, do Cat's power up attack. Um, maybe. I don't know. I'm finding out that the shot ability seems to be working fairly well in this place. I say that, and then it doesn't work on these guys. It would be nice if it worked on these guys. But whatever, you, what are you gonna do, huh? Okay, maybe Chop Chop isn't the best move when you, if you give it to your hero. Hey, your spells suck. Keep casting them. <laughs> Alright, let's just keep trying it, see if it works. That would really make my day if it did. Cat, you're awesome! Now, you may notice, I'm not going by my regular rule of taking the lowest leveled party members with me, 
Well, that's because we are very, very close to the end of this game, and I've decided to just level up the characters I want to use for endgame. So, this is it. I don't know if there's anything in here. I don't think so. There's some stairs. I don't think I want to go down the stairs. I kind of had to look on some other playthroughs of this, find out which way to go, because this place is a friggin' maze. It's so hard to get around here. Yeah, don't be surprised if you get lost in this place. Anyway, we just gotta drop from that battle. I'm gonna heal up this cat. Keep her topped off. Called the Ninja Mail. Oh, I had a feeling that'd be good for Stenny Boy. Wow, impressive. Can anybody else equip it? Kinda doubt it. Sten is our resident ninja of the group. He is getting the best drops in this playthrough. We got the best weapon. I have a feeling that's his best armor, too. Ninja man. Okay. No more no no more noises like that. But anyway, what I was mentioning earlier about this being our final party, it was kind of a tough decision for me. It was kind of a debate between what party members would be able to survive this and gee, which way do I want to go? And which party members would provide the best dialogue I wanted to see. Better get that. Um, ultimately, I decided on this. I don't usually roll with a bow end game, but whatever. Holy shit! Oh, we might actually be able to use that. Perhaps no. Uh, unless we have it for everyone already, we do. It casts shield, so we could use it. Oh. Um, have we encountered the deep paladin? No, we have not. I've not encountered the douche paladin today! I'm guessing that's a dark paladin. Whatever. Uh, the friggin' gannets, you know what to do with those guys. Have your other homies attack that guy. Cause your attacks aren't gonna do shit against the gannets. Maybe we'll just use attack, or uh, chop chop on them. Save yourself a lot of time and effort. I'm feeling they have a lot of defensive based spells, these dark paladins or douche paladins. However you decide to interpret that deep. Whatever. Hit them hard, that's the strap. But I decided on this party because these are pretty much three of the characters I genuinely like. I I would prefer Rand, because he's sort of more he has more survivability and better he has pretty good healing abilities. But you know, nah. Eh, eh, he's not very leveled up. I'm not very leveled up at all. And I think I prefer to have higher AP, since I'm not that leveled up, so I decided to bring uh, Bao. Plus, Sten has been leveled up. He's leveled up more than most people in my gang. So, he might not be bad, just because you have to take him through the first half of Infinity. So, it's not a bad way to go with him, to save some level grinding. It'll be pretty miraculous, though, if we actually do it. We're really low level for this place. I will not lie. But, yeah. Let's keep it going. Try to find all this stuff before we run out of AP or die. Hey, there's a chest. Let's get it. Let's get it. Okay, a little something I'm finding out about the carms in this place is that it seems Bow Shot ability is working well. Yes, that seems to have a fairly high success rate against those biatches. Oh, clutch! Super clutch. Bow was running a little low on AP there. Hey, that's very good. Very, very nice. We haven't even seen the hardest enemies in this place yet, is the funny part. Some of the enemies in the lower portion of this place can really, really ruin your day. Won't lie. There's one in particular. You know the Ifrit guys? Those giant fiery demon dudes? You can, you can only see their head? Well, they have an evil-ass big brother that can just straight wipe your ass if you're not prepared. And they're probably in this portion of the dungeon. Oh! Going to that door. That door leads to a certain sub boss. We've met him before. Believe me, we have met him before. I think we need to go this way. Oh, goodness! These are one of the evil assholes I was talking about. These guys alone aren't too bad, but in numbers, they can ruin your day. Let's try a shot. Why not? Um, I believe they can attack twice. They may have some spells they can use to... Or we could just get specials on them and kill them in one shot. Wow! 
Bow is really good for that shot. I'm getting surprised by oh this is the way. Getting surprised on how good he is with that shot ability. It's been really working out for me lately. And plus he doesn't do any like legitimate damage anyway. So you may as well try it out. I mean why not? Oh god damn it. <laughs> These are both dead ends! Oh, those Imam guys seem to be weak to the shot ability too, which is pretty nice. Bow, you are not sucking lately! Yay! Pretty much all your guys don't really suck at the end of the game. Oh, one thing I did want to mention about this playthrough as a whole compared to, like, other playthroughs of this game. Ooh, safe run. Let's get that. Because I feel I can talk about this playthrough as a whole because we're so near the end of the game. Hey, what's up? Thanks. Bet it. Yeah, let's continue our journey. Uh, but anyway, this playthrough compared to other playthroughs that you will find on YouTube is... I did this way different... Oh, great, a dead end. Way different than other playthroughs you'll find. Um, I'm pretty sure most other people that do this as a let's play just follow the game facts. And that's not really how I roll. Where have we stumbled upon now? Where are we? Anyway, yeah, I think most people follow the game facts, and I pretty much just followed how I normally play this game. Oh god! Oh, this is the guy I was talking about! Hellion! Hellion! Oh man. This is gonna get ugly soon. Lucky shot from Bao? Huh? Oh, I should've healed him. Oh shit. He's gonna hit us very, very hard! Oh, he counterattacks! Oh my god, I did not know he counterattacked. This is bad. Oh, he's just playing defense. He dick! Kill him, Bao! Yes! <laughs> Bao, you were so awesome! Ah, oh, best dog ever! Yes, those guys can definitely ruin your day. But anyway, I, yeah, I just followed this game how I would normally play it as like a kid when I played this game many, many times. We have the Dragon Sword! Now, I'm pretty sure our current sword is actually better than this. Except the Dragon Sword does increase all of our other stats. So, hmm, I don't know. I don't think I want to use it, yeah. I will get the other dragon stuff, though. Let's take this teleportation device. It doesn't work! What the hell? Let's get out of here before we run into another one of those aliens. Um, yeah, I... Like most people that play this game will employ the strategy, which is, um... What? Just keep right Or not right Your hero's AP up with wise BLs, and they're only form of offense will come from uh, your hero using the G-Dragon ability, which I don't really like. I don't like how how they did that in this game. Huh. Dragon armor! We will use that! Can anybody else use our hero armor? Yes! Stenny. Can Cat use it? No, Sten. Sten? Oh, that ninja mail was supposed to be your best armor. Oh, well. Uh... I kind of like having the extra vigor, but he does need the offense as well. All right, well, we might tr switch it up. I don't know. Probably not. Um, let's go this way. But I really hate seeing people do that. I feel that was not the game's intention, or rather the game designer's intention when they made this game. It just feels wrong, you know? It. Wait, where the hell are we now? Oh my god. Okay, I think that one room to the right is a dead end. And I'm gonna talk about my gaming morals again, but I prefer to ga play the games as they were intended to be played, you know? And when you go with the strategy of just using G-Dragon every time, you really limit your options on what you can do in this game. For example, you're gonna want to get the uh, vanilla town option because that way, ooh, Dragon Shield, that way you can do the cooking of wise BLs, I guess? I've never really played around with it, whatever. And then... I just... I don't like it. I want to have options, you know? I like options when I'm playing this game. The way I played it, you can have any town, really. And Tolan is useful if you get the wood town. Otherwise, Tolan is completely useless. It just takes up space. And you don't get the tiger sword if you don't get Tolan, which is by far one of the most useful items in the game. 
I'm still using it, Austin, and you will keep using it until the very, very end of the game. I think I would also like to add that using the G-Dragon strategy... Have we gone this way? I think we have. Ah, oh, damn it, I'm so lost. Have we... No, we haven't. Okay. I think... Yes, we have. Wait. Um, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> I'm lost! Oh, God! Let's go here. Okay. That's the one door. We're... We still haven't gotten the dragon helmet. Damn it. Ah, oh, so lost. Okay, let's go back this way, I think. But yeah, the old G-Dragon strategy, I feel, is a real drawback of this game. And just dragon powers in general are the drawback of the first two games. It really ruined the first game for me. Um, okay, we went that way. Where will this take me? I can't even use it. Huh, that's weird. Okay. Yeah, the first game, they really effed up the dragon powers. I'm sorry, they did. It's like, you go, like, 90% of the game, you know, just normal playthrough. Your basic four-man party, turn-based strategy game. And then, then you learn Anthony. By the way, that's from the first game, Anthony, if you were wondering where that came from. Yeah, that is the ultimate dragon form you can get in the first game, which, what it does is, where is my cure poison, there we go, it takes all of your party members and turns them into one giant badass dragon. Bah, I can't finally lost their shaman form, sad day. But, like I was saying, you turn into one huge badass dragon, and there's no drawback to not using it. Like, it doesn't burn up your AP when you use it. So really, there's no reason not to use it. In every battle, unless you're like a video game purist like me, who tries to, you know, keeps it real and stuff. Is this just the way we came? Oh my god, I'm so effing lost. But yeah, they... Uh, it'd be really cool if they, like, did the dragon powers right. This game is okay. But once again, you have the whole G-Dragon strategy. Which kind of blows, in my opinion. But I, the third game is where they did it right, I thought. Holy Rapier. Oh, I think that's a very good weapon for Mr. Jom. If you're in our party, but he's not said to. But yeah, that's my whole spiel on Dragon Powers and the Breath of Fire games. Is it this way? Oh, and by the way, if it seems like I'm taking my sweet-ass time getting around this place, it's because I am. Uh, I kind of want to gain some levels. I'm also kind of, sort of, hoping we run into... Where the hell are we now? Uh, anyway, let's go down here. I'm kind of, sort of, hoping I get a drop from these Karm guys. We saw them last episode. They're the little Grim Reaper dudes. But I'm hoping I get a drop from them, because they're supposed to drop Cat's ultimate weapon, which is the Meow Staff. Meow Staff. It's pretty badass. It has ridiculous attack power on it. Oh my god, have we been here already? I think we may have. Uh, maybe it's this one. Where is the helmet? But it has amazing attack power, and I think it may cast attack up when used as not. Oh, here we go, last chest. Side note, don't go in front of the chest. You will fall into a hole. Just saying. Dragon helmet. Okay, we have gotten all of the dragon equipment. Hooray, hooray, hooray. Now, I'm going to edit out a little bit of this so we can get back to that one cave I said we shouldn't go into earlier because this is going to be a very long video of feelings. So, I'll see you in a bit when we're back there. Okay, we are back at that one door I told you not to go into. Now, before we go in here, I'm going to try something. We're going to replace this Empire Sword with a Dragon Sword. Now, if you've played this game before and are a fan, you probably know why I'm sacrificing attack power for other stats. Actually, the one thing I'm worried about is vigor. Because that's our speed. I don't know if it'll make a difference. It's so negligible. I don't know if it'll even make a difference. Actually, well, I made a save state, so if this doesn't work out, we'll try it with the Dragon Sword. Anyway, if you know why I'm debating this, you know what I'm going to do here. What is this? It got very dark and very quiet. 
You have arrived. You are the destined child. Don't be frightened. Come straight forward. <laughs> Does the darkness frighten you, Grim? Cry out in front of me like you did as a child. It's been a long time, Grim. I thought you would be the one to open the gates. Destined child, brave dragon, do you remember me? You're a nightmare! Oh shit, I remember that guy. Someone got to kick me and Bow's ass when we were kids. Your job is finished. You open the gate. The world will belong to Death Haven. Total destruction will begin from the gates you open. Come attack me, Grim. I'm not gonna hold back like I did when you were a child! Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Fun story. This is probably the hardest boss in the game. Probably harder than the last boss, even. Uh, let's get right into it. Um, Now, you may want to use your dragon powers. No, I actually don't use the dragon powers here. Not recommended. What we I will recommend is just going all out casting defense up X and well pretty much just playing defense for the most part. Trying to get the most deeps as possible here before he does some horrible attack! Ah! Nice. Think about this guy. Pretty much all of his attacks attack your entire party. So you're gonna get hurt. Yeah, like fire breath. Yeah. Now the way I'm gonna do it is I'm pretty much just going to cast uh, Cure 3 the entire time because that heals your entire party. It's a good strategy for what I'm going to do here. You'll see in a second what I'm going to do. Uh, I really hope this works out. Don't cut off on me. Okay, thank you. Yeah, he's very, very nasty. Nasty beast. Uh, there's his attack dodge! No, no dodging to be had. Okay, that, that's bound to happen. Okay, keep it up, team. The thing I like about this party I have here is that it's very fast. You can get a lot of attacks in. I'm glad I chose to keep the Empire Sword because it appears Grim is indeed faster than him. Yeah, that's, that's going to be very crucial for us going along with this. I hope he decides to stop here. Stop. Just stop. No. Stop. Stop. Ah, damn it. <laughs> I'm trying to keep Grim in maximum health for this part. Okay. Say, second verse, same as the first. I had a little word salad when I tried to do that last episode. I said something stupid like, oh, what we go what's going on here? Interesting. Very interesting. The screaming, crying child has grown and gained such strength! How about it, Grim? From now on, you fight me by yourself? <laughs> I've been talking this up. Yeah, let's freaking do it. You and me, mother effer. Let's do it. I like you! You are the brave man of the dragon. Come attack your nightmare with your strength alone! 